Hey folks, how's it going? Sandro here from socialwoodworks.com and today I'm doing a quick review of this new condenser microphone that I got from Amazon. Um, I do a lot of voiceovers for my videos so I thought I'd just share some of the tools that I use. And um, here is the package that it came in. It just says generic studio microphone and inside has a nice foam divider for all of the components of the microphone system. Here we got just a little foam windscreen that actually works as sort of a pop filter. There's this little uh, squeeze clamp clip for the microphone that screws onto the base which is right here may look like it's a little flimsy, but I was actually pretty impressed with this base. It's uh, not which, not really sure what kind of metal it's made out of, but it's really um, solid and has, uh, has some good mass to it, so it holds the microphone very well. And this cable here is kind of one of the reasons why I bought this microphone. You don't need an extra power supply for this microphone. Uh, a lot of the condenser mics require a uh, voltage um, amplifier to even use the microphone, but this one runs off a USB and then it, it's got a Y cable with a microphone 3.5 millimeter uh, jack. And here is the microphone itself. Also, again, pretty impressed with the quality. It's uh, made out of uh, aluminum. The body's made out of aluminum. It's got this. Um, it's got the standard microphone input on the bottom. Has this nice gold mesh. Looks pretty nice. And also <clears throat> has a uh, volume control and echo control dial on the front, which comes in pretty handy for uh, adjusting your levels. So you just screw the uh, clamp base, or excuse me, clamp onto the base. foam windscreen. It's kind of a shame that it covers up that nice gold uh, mesh. It looks kind of cool but uh, like I said it also works as a, uh, a pop filter as well so I kind of like that about it. And then you take the standard microphone input, plug it to the bottom of the microphone just snaps in like that and clamp it onto the microphone stand. There you have it. That's sort of how you set it up. Then you just plug in the USB to your laptop or your computer and plug in the three and a half millimeter um, jack into your microphone input and uh, start recording. It's that easy. No drivers or anything. All right, now I'm gonna do a bit of a sound test for you guys so you guys can compare. Um, I have the microphone turned off and I'm using just the internal microphone on my laptop just so you can compare. Uh, the beginning portion of this video, I was actually using the microphone, but uh, I'm gonna do a comparison now so you can hear my voice without a microphone and then I'll plug the microphone back in and you guys can hear what that sounds like. So this is my voice without the uh, condenser microphone plugged in. This is just the standard internal microphone on a laptop. Okay, and now I have the condenser microphone plugged in to the input um, so you guys can tell the difference. Um, I think that it sounds a lot more clear. Um, my voice is uh, a lot easier to uh, understand, I think. There's a lot less background noise um, and just all around sounds a lot more clear for making videos. Um, if you have a story that you're trying to tell, you definitely want to be heard while you're telling that story. So once again, this is the BT Sky USB Studio Condenser Recording Microphone with Mini Stand. I got it on Amazon for about 30 bucks. Uh, well worth the 30 bucks. Hopefully you can tell the difference between um, a decent affordable microphone and something that uh, just kind of comes on your computer or your recording device. 
Um, I'll throw a link in the description to this uh, microphone from Amazon if you want to check it out. You can also check out their other microphones. They have a ton of uh, great studio microphones at uh, affordable prices. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and click the like button if you did like this video. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Social Woodworks, for uh, updates on all of our newest projects. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day.